We cocked and locked your boys? I think so. I mean... Kind of have to... to... A little bit of a twilight action going. Yeah. That's all right, though. That's... I think that's just what I mean, that'll be fine. That looks yeah. good. You, I can always make a filter out of it. I think that looks good. Yeah. It actually doesn't look that bad. I wonder how the quality is going to be different from your phone to the camera and vice versa. Uh, I think the sound will be a lot different. The sound will be different, I'm sure, but like the quality, what is that, an iPhone what? It's an iPhone 7. Yeah, so I'm sure the quality is just going to be right there, honestly. Uh, I mean, a little less, obviously, because it's... I think I'm going to be running 480 compared to 720. I think so. Oh, is that shoot 720? I mean, that right there? Yeah, when you upload it, what, what do you upload in? Oh, I upload it at um, highest possible, and it's about like three or four gigs typically for... Well, no, I mean like, what do you shoot this in? Like, Or when you like upload it to YouTube, is it in 720 or is it 1080? Oh, I mean, I try to do 1080 as much as possible, yeah, but... That's what I do too. With my editing software, I think it renders it. Oh, down to 720? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think it really does. Yeah, well... It's really funny because I'm pretty sure YouTube, you can't shoot in 4K. Or, like, you can shoot in 4K all you want, but when you upload it to YouTube, YouTube can't render 4K yet, I it, think. Can it? it? It can. It can now? It can. Well, whenever it was, like, when I first heard about this, or not for like, when I first heard about someone shooting in 4K, like, the guy where I got my camera at was like, yeah, like, it doesn't make sense. Or it wasn't about YouTube. It was about normal TV. Yes. Because they were, like, um, a lot of channels... A lot of channels they are considered don't, cable. Oh yeah, like so when you buy a 4K TV, like that's an awesome selling point. But when you watch your shows on like CBS or TNT, it doesn't matter because you're not watching it in 4K. It's because it doesn't, it doesn't have matter. A, yeah, yeah. It's because it doesn't have an HDR, which is not able to get get the HD rendering to make it up to 4K. Yeah. So like, so if, like, like if people do their research, they're like, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save 500 bucks here if I just go down yeah. because. My TV, this shows that I want to watch on the network I want to watch, isn't yeah. in 4K, so why the fuck would I buy a 4K TV? PlayStation Pros can actually go up to 4K. Oh, can they? Yeah, yeah. So, so well, can you watch Netflix? Well, you can probably. There's, there's some shows on Netflix that are in 4K, isn't it, or no? Yeah, they're in crystal clear HD, but I don't know if it's like like UHD, but I don't know if it's actual like 4K HD. See, well, now we're getting crazy with the UHD, HD, I see, I don't know. That's Ultra where you lose HD, me. that's, it's just a another term for 4k to almost a 4k right yeah so i mean like it's like 2160p 21 savage 21 savage 21 savage boys can compare to 1080p dude so. and we got the windows down for this episode nice yeah. let's rock it i mean it's it's nice and chill you ready folks we're back what's up guys episode 11 we're past the uh uh, double digits now we're into episode one of the or two of the double digits we're technically kinda in like so, the fifth grade if you stop and think about yeah. it so we're fifth grade here we're <laughs> right before uh right before school starts we're in summer break action still but hey we're here yeah. um if you guys notice the quality a little bit different or the sound that's because sorry uh, that's all right first off it's okay we're getting content <laughs> out there uh we're on an iphone 7 s r anything crazy at Just the end the of there iphone 7 folks iphone 7 action straight here up. straight up um and uh, we're coming at you guys live. You know where we're at. We're in the parking lot in the car. Windows down to beautiful day. It feels like what? Uh, Honestly, probably 65. Cool 65. It's cool nice. 65. It's beautiful. I just watched three people um, walk by. Us. Not only stare at us, A, but walk by with their shirts off. So, I mean, they're letting it all out today. It's a beautiful day anyway. Yeah. Um, episode 11, guys. We're underway here. So, what's up, buddy? Not much, man. It's a good word. Uh, well, I mean, I, I think I recently just started getting allergies. Wow. Like this year or like no, it, in your life? Like, like it just hit me this, like, like this time around, like my head. Do is you just usually like, get them? Yeah, I get them. I get them around this time frame anyway. Um, yeah. like, like, like the transition from spring to summer. Bad. That's, that's typically that's bad. When all the pollen's out, folks. Yeah. That pollen's going to be out and about. Uh, yeah. If you guys saw like episode maybe two or three, I think, the sneeze of the century, <laughs> that's me every single morning for about 45 minutes, and that's year round, and oh. I'm being dead serious. And I refuse to take an allergy pill. Why? Oh, you're just like me! Why? I don't know. They're made literally for this reason. You're just like me! I have never taken allergy medication at all, not even over the counter, nothing. I will refuse to do it. I want to, kind of secretly deep down, I kind of enjoy like... You enjoy I, it? 
I mean, kinda. Ugh. Like, I enjoy the pain of just being stuffed up, if that makes Ugh, sense. Ugh, no. Dude, I love it, man. Ugh, but yeah, gross. every day, 365 for at least 45 minutes, and I'm not even exaggerating. Ugh. Every single day. That's gross. <laughs> so about, if I wake up at like 8, let's say one day, talk to me around 9 o'clock, then I'll be good, and, <laughs> I'll be good to go. And then anytime before that, it's going to be stuffed up, not I'm talking like this, and sneezing constantly. Really? And that's all right. So my early morning classes, if I'm going to wake up like right before class, so, rough. <laughs> so, so even for drill too? Oh yeah, absolutely. I drilled this last weekend, wake up, but it's like a 45, 50 minute drive to drill. So right when I get there, oh. I'm good. I'm golden. But the whole drive up there, sneezing constantly. Oh gosh. Constant. Man, that's crazy. And it's not any different from Springfield to KC or even up in Iowa. I huh. always sneeze no matter where I'm at. Wow. Wow. Always. Because cause like for here, right? Um, <laughs> Specifically down here, like in Kansas City, I should feel a lot better. Yeah. But well, but maybe it's here, because I um, mean, man, this place is pollen, mold, all this other stuff, man. It is outrageous here. It is, and also the plants, especially like on campus, smell awful. Oh, God. So I don't know what kind of plants they're trying to plant up here, but the allergies are horrific. Yeah, they're they're, they're pretty bad here. But then like, I went to like. LA and like I surprisingly all right like, hey let's not try to flex on these people here oh I went gosh. to LA I mean no 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 I'm no. just, I'm no, just, I, just I, I'm just saying like like I went there and I started getting like huge muscle cramps and I started like I was so much more tired there than what I was really? like anywhere else yeah um but but I think it's because of the dry weather right I'm I'm like born and raised in Missouri yeah so like I'm used to this stuff which is really surprising especially now that I'm getting like allergies as I get older, because mm -hmm. so, like when I was younger, it, you never had allergies. No, not really. Really? Yeah. I was, Maybe. I was super chill and like I was like, oh well, this. Well, why, why do people have allergies? I don't understand, right? You know what people say is like a really good like natural remedy, like to get acquainted to like the place that like if you move to like Seattle or anywhere crazy. Sniff sanitizer. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just. I'm have just you heard of that? Oh, I thought you were being serious. No, I was like, I'm just what? joshing you. Dude, they say go to like a local like natural Whole Foods or grocery store and buy uh, a, like a little bottle of their like homemade honey. Not homemade honey, but I was like guess honey. But like um, just just natural honey. Natural that honey area. that was from that area, like uh, okay. at a farmer's market or something. And they say like the pollen or the bee. I'm not a scientist, but they say it's like. It's supposed to be really good, like, and then your body gets huh. used to it, so then your allergies aren't as bad. If you want to stick, like, on the natural side of things, other than medicine. So, I heard that the other day, actually. The more you know. Hey, the more you know. What do we got going on today, though, man? Well, it's a you pick kind of thing. It's a you pick. Well, what do we got here? Well, first we have uh, option number one, and I literally went up here because I'm so used to doing this with, <laughs> with the camera, but we're cocked and locked today. We got... Uh, Rain? Rain. 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 Not R-A-I-N, but R-E-I-G-N. Which, which I Rain. tagged them in my Instagram, and they actually uh, posted back. They did? Yeah. Yeah, they posted on their story. Rain. Um, You know, just send me over a flat. Send us over a flat. We'll taste test them all. Yeah. And uh, we'll become brand ambassadors. Brand ambassadors. Just like Hofjord. <clears throat> Hofjord Bjorsen. With these guys? Yeah. Oh, no way. Hofjord Bjorsen is, is really ambassadors. Yeah. They have two ambassadors right now. Which which we can go to and like, hey guys use my code tie ten for ten percent off your next bottle of rain it's a flash sale it'll never happen again these prices are the lowest it's ever been guys my all my nutrition oh plan my it's nine ninety nine a month I'm gonna need a six year commitment and that's bare minimum but let me tell you guys um, if you guys don't do this now like I said prices have never been this low it's a one time deal guys it's a flash sale prices I promise again tie ten for ten percent off thanks yeah no no it's for eighty nine cents for six hundred times over like 89 cents and then you're committed for 60 years <laughs> do you, you, some of these you've heard about those right uh -uh. The, the, 80, eight, the 89 cent ones the 99 cent ebooks oh i know exactly what you're talking about yep 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 yeah i'm just gonna need a firm only commitment for a dollar. only for a dollar but your commitment is for life seriously like, that's good what god like. dude yeah. but anyway yeah we got uh we got rain. This flavor is what? Lemon HDZ. My that, favorite, honestly. I gotta be honest. HDZ, what is that? I don't know what it is, but it just tastes like a Pez, which I, I like. Definitely. I mean, are we drinking like televisions? HDZ oh, 4K? Oh, oh. What do we got? What do we got cooking here? 
Oh, yep. Here we go, boys. And uh, hold on. We're just going to take a little break here. Guys, check my Snapchat for a little uh, humor here. No, not right, check got my it. phone out here. Okay, hold on. And just gave the best blowjob of his life. And just gave the best blowjob of his life. <laughs> tune in. Uh, tune in to the Snap, boys. Tyler Robert 1R. T Y L E R O B E R T. Little play on words there. Um, yeah, I mean, just check it out. You know? So, what else is going on, man? We got rain, and what else do we have? What do we uh, got? Cocktail locked here. Region. Region. Region well, 4. Region, you know. Which this podcast might actually have to end a lot sooner than I thought, because I am. Yep, we are. Uh, I got a. Uh, Folks, we, uh, I got a hippity hoppity. <laughs> you guys know those games? Can, can, can I just run over there? Uh, I mean, sh- sure. I'd assume you probably could. In there? Yeah, I would. I'd just run in there and say, hey, I need to use the bathroom. You guys have a bathroom. I just need to use it real fast. Yeah. I mean, I'll talk to the folks. Yeah, you talk to the folks while I go. Okay. Bye, Grant. Guys, it's just me and you. We're taking over here. You even have my phone. Guys, we're we're taking over. Here, we're gonna show you what Grant's doing right now. I don't know if we can catch him here. He said he was prairie dogging when I first got in the car like 15 minutes ago. So God only knows. Oh my god, look at him walk. Okay, how do I turn this? I don't know if you can see him, but he is walking like he definitely has half the shit out of his ass currently. And he's just trying to hold it like it's still connected. We got some twilight action going. Like it's still connected to him and he's just holding on to the one end so it doesn't fall out completely. Let's try to fix this here. Oh God, we'll go back here. Guys, we're just gonna comment. Um, we're just gonna comment on what we see around. Like we said, it's like 65. I don't know what Grant was saying. It's honestly probably close to 80 and we got um, the signature wear on. We got sweatpants tucked into the socks, and uh, we're just hanging out. Um, Yeah, we got rain. I know, like, this is one of the biggest things now, like, with Bang and Monster, like, one of the competitors. Um, I actually had one of these, not this flavor, but uh, one of these yesterday for the very first time, and it wasn't bad. 300 milligrams of caffeine, um, so it's, like, double what a Monster has, similar to Bang. Um... I on, I've said this once before, I really don't like Bang, but uh, 300 milligrams, so the same as Bang, double Monster, and then it says up here like BCA amino acids, um, Q10, uh, electrolytes, it says increase concentration, reduce fatigue. Um, I mean, no one's drinking it for that. They're drinking it A, to be cool and be hip, or B, um, to try it out as a pre-workout, and that's what we're doing here. Um, I generally like the pre-workouts that make you tingle, have a lot of like beta alanine and citrulline in it. Um, This is more of just like a caffeine source almost, if you will. So um, we're gonna see. I took, don't tell Grant this, I wasn't really gonna tell him either, but right before this, because I knew like we were trying rain today, we didn't have a, folks, oh my God, there's my, one of my bosses that just pulled up. Um, (laughs) uh, What was I saying? Oh yeah, I took a scoop of my pre-workout at home before I came to get a little bit of that tingly feel just because I knew we were trying rain and doesn't have any like citrulline or beta alanine so took a little bit of that before and so I got like 150 milligrams already cocked and locked in me plus this so this would be about 400 or 450 or no, it'd be about yeah 450 so and there's my boss and now we're just talking to the camera we're just having fun um, I'm just kidding, he's cool um, but dude, Grant is giving it hell in there uh, I'm gonna finish up this snapchat post and then uh, I'm gonna show it. Yeah, just hold on. Just bear with me here And just gave the best blowjob of his life and just gave the best blowjob <laughs> of his life and just gave the best blowjob of his life and just gave the best blowjob of his life he had two ice uh, bags of ice wrapped around his knees walking definitely 
stop don't do that all you literally if you do that all you're trying to do is flex on everyone that you pass on a college campus hey sit down ice your knees if you need it i guess both knees for 20 minutes take it off and get to where you need to go and then when you get home ice it again don't walk around like you know you know what i know and you know that all anyone they don't really need to ice their knees all they're trying to do is just flex on all these college kids and like show these women like oh yeah like i'm an athlete like freaking kick rocks dude freaking drives me up a wall when i see shit like that <sighs> dude i don't know man i don't know where grant is we're gonna pop it though actually grant said he likes this kind so i'm just gonna pop this without him i don't know where he is he's still giving it hell in there but like i said i don't know why people do it but do it to be cool so we'll slap a rooney right there boys and here we go a little asmr action <sighs> yeah there you go boys down the hatch this is carnival candy kind of fun name right there so i kind of like it i'm not going to say change it to that but kind of like that <sighs> tastes like cherry chapstick you know uh, Katy perry um i'm assuming this is like why they made this but um carnival candy it literally tastes like if you were to melt down cotton candy um like at the fair you got a whole bunch of cotton candy and just melted it into liquid form and mix it up with sprite that's exactly what it tastes like so and maybe that's what they're trying to do here i don't know but so that's what we're doing folks we're just hanging out um also saw another thing today around campus uh, this guy was walking around campus carrying a uh, gallon jug of water. And if you guys know my personality or know who I am, I almost wanted to run downstairs because I was like on the second uh, floor of the library looking outside and I saw him. I want, oh God. <laughs> if you carry around a gallon jug of water, you just need to consider taking that gallon of water because you love the outdoors obviously you love staying hydrated walk up the tallest cliff you can find within the next you know 30 to 40 miles of whatever area you're at climb up that hill mountain cliff whatever it is and then find where there's some jagged rocks um or even water below preferably shallow water and just jump off because you need to be at the bottom of that cliff if you walk around with a gallon of water just, hey, get a water bottle. You don't need that. Also, you're not drinking a full gallon of water and that's gonna be cold. No person can do that. So that's literally only a flex and you know that, right? That's what you know. Just saw a text from Shelby on this thing because we're using Grant's phone. What's up, Shelby, if you're watching, you know? We're 18 and a half minutes in though. So, I mean, shout out to all you guys still watching, dude. Freaking appreciate you guys. Grant is taking a shit still bro i don't even see him he, like he's not even near at all i got a meeting not a meeting but like a study group starting at seven yeah <sighs> excuse me i said i was gonna be there at 7 30 because we're doing this thing but it's a quarter to six almost so we're gonna get a freaking <clears throat> quick ass workout uh this, this stuff is pretty carbonated actually more so than a monster even more so than bang um so i would not recommend like it kind of fills you up almost like i don't even want to drink this but it tastes good but it's just like almost like a chore you know anyway boys um well let's go a little handheld action i'll show you guys our environment here well I don't know if we can uh this is the what this is grant's car by the way everyone we got a little sunroof action too um oh there's my boy i see him he's walking a little bit better now um yeah windows down today guys we're just hanging out freaking beautiful oh yeah the reason why we're using this phone is because that sucker right there is it even info yeah the camera uh 
Grant forgot to charge it, and that's okay, because we're still hanging out, and we're still getting it out there. That's what we're doing, boys. And Grant is checking back in, and he's walking a little bit better, boys. Grant, how you feeling, bud? I feel so much better. Tell the fans, we've been talking for about a good solid 10 minutes. That wasn't Sorry. 10 minutes. We'll get a little dehydrated. Uh, I had to pop, pop open right here, boys. <laughs> so you decided to go with that? I decided to go with the uh, carnival candy. How is it? That's what we did. Um, I told them that it tastes similar to if you were to pick up a whole bunch of cotton candy at the, uh, there you go, like at the uh, local carnival or fair and we're just to take it all off that stick, throw it in like a pan and boil it and then mix it with some Sprite. All right. It's like liquid form cotton candy. Here, you wanna try it? Try this kind. Can you try this kind? I'll try this kind. I never had this kind either. We got lemon HD down the hatch, boys. Yep, accurate. Yeah, I like that. That tastes like uh, tastes like Pez. Tastes like Pez. Also tastes like a lemon head, but not sour at all. Like just the. Oh, we got a little sideways action here, boys. Um, like the uh, lemon head, but no, no sourness. Just like strictly lemon, and we're still sliding here. That's all right. A little bit cocky well, here. Well, because we're on a camera, so it's like. Oh, don't worry. I showed. I showed them the setup. Oh, cool. I showed them what we got going on here. <clears throat> we're just kind of shooting the shit man without you and that's all right sorry that's all right buddy you were giving it hell over there well like okay so i started taking protein and a lot more and like i noticed i wasn't um make a couple more jaunts over to the bathroom well i wasn't that's really? the thing is that is that i wasn't making the more more, more rounds and like i i'm like today i felt really weird i was like man this is just you got something building up dog yeah, so that like with that whole aller allergy stuff, I'm like, man, I don't know. I better not be sick, but that almost looks like you were just right? that almost looks like breast milk. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> an IV coming down from both hoohies. To... <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks. Oh, oh, dude. Have I? I don't think I ever told you about this. My in my nutrition class, I talked about. Uh... Dude, this was was like this is when I was so. I thought, honestly, I thought I was cool. I thought I would gain respect from my teacher if I talked about like colostrum, which is another form of like milk or like, um, or like breast milk is also known as colostrum. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I talked, talked to my uh, sports nutrition teacher and I was like, Hey, what do you think about taking a, like a colostrum source, like bovine colostrum? So that's just like cow milk, but in dry form. And then you mix your own milk with it. So it's like dried, um, cow breast milk <laughs> because dude like all like breast milk is like one of the most nutritional nutritionally packed like forms Body that you can get to do it more and more now yeah absolutely um it like has all your amino acids it has well don't quote me on that i think there was like one or two that it's a little bit low in or i forget what it is but like it's what babies like drink Right, so like it has all of your essential, yeah, big and like, strong, everything. Right, so like, <clears throat> um, I was like, all right, dude, I'm kind of looking for like into this, and she just like put me on blast. She was like, well, why are you doing that? Like, that's kind of like you're gonna drink breast milk from cow. I was like, all right, man, I was just you know, thought I was cool. I thought I'd bring something up like out of the wheel. I thought I was special, <laughs> unique, but yeah. I don't know. Interesting. But there you go. There's the thing with breast milk. Anyway. <sighs> How you feeling, man? Well, well I'm feeling... you feel about five pounds lighter. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. I destroyed the toilet. Destroyed the toilet, and that's what we like to hear. Yep. Um, that that place surprisingly has a pristine restroom. Hey, shout out Missouri State. Pristine restroom. I think that's what Hammonds or Hutchins? One of the Hutchins. Is that Hutchins? I think that is. Hey, the dorms here at Missouri State, pristine bathrooms. Hutchins, a one. Like. Well, I, 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 well, well I, I noticed that the bottom was completely remodeled because since like I, I was there a couple years ago, I mean, sure. like, I actually wasn't, like, I didn't live there, but I knew people who but, did and, and like, I'm like, what the, you know, I'm like looking around over there for a couple parties, but you know, whatever it is, not a couple parties, just well, said hi to a couple people. Oh well, yeah. You but, know. but anyway, um, yeah. And like, I, I noticed that the bottom was like completely re renovated and, and then I opened the door and I'm like whoa like it was such a nice bathroom yeah but then the one thing so let me ask you this what qualifies something to be a nice bathroom like what do you look for in a bathroom Ooh, good question nice tile 
that has to be tile and it has to be shiny. The has, tile has has to be at least has to really be reflective. Well kept. Yeah. Has to be reflective. Has, the tile has, does has, has to be well kept, right? Go ahead. Um, they had two stalls for dudes. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. You right? know, two stalls is huge, especially on a college campus. It's connected to a dining hall, so three sinks, nice marble, all the stuff. Three stuff. sinks. How many urinals? Two. Two. So we got a four seater in there, boys. There you go. The problem that I had was that it's so nice and everything else. You didn't want to just, you didn't even want to take a shit in it because no. you're like, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to mess the jive up here. I don't want to leave any skid marks. No, no, no. The, the, the freaking, um, um, uh, towel dispenser. Yep. Is, Automatic. No, it's not. Okay. Everything is completely nice and like updated and things like that. But except for, we got that old handheld dog. Yeah. The door also like, I'm like no foot. You know, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. At first remove, I, I like remove them germs. I literally like drew a blank. Dude, are you weird about that? Like, um, not some, weird about it, but like. Sometimes. Do you think, really? Yeah. I know some people who won't even use like a public restroom. No. Dude. Hey, let's be transparent. We're still sliding around and that's all right. But listen, you're an absolute, absolute liar. If you're telling me if you go to a public restroom or even at. Well, a ball game I could maybe see, but like if you're going out to eat at a restaurant or anything like that, and you're the, I guess I told you it's carbonated. Um, if you go to a restroom, or if you go to a restaurant, you go to the restroom, you're the only person in that restroom. When you get out of your stall or the urinal, I promise you, you're lying if you say you're going to wash your hands. You're not going to. And I know you won't. See, I do. Lie. No, I do. Lie. I'm dead serious. Grant? Be transparent with these people. Don't lie to them. I wash my hands every single time I wash his hands. Restroom. Doesn't like steak. Doesn't drink milk. I'm right here. <laughs> two more. Two more, and this is the end. And I'm being dead serious. Quote me on it. Pull this little clip out. <laughs> Pull two it more. out. Two more. Bam. Two more, and I'm out. I'm gone. Shelby's gonna take my spot, and that's fine. That's okay. But I'm out of here. I'm. I'm. I'm drawing the line. I'm telling you the truth. I literally wash my hands every single time I enter the restroom. Wrong. No, I do. Just because, like, just like, uh, because, because everybody else doesn't. Wrong. Because <laughs> it's because everybody else doesn't. I promise Man, you. You're blowing smoke to these people, and that's not fair. I'm gonna be transparent with I you mean, guys. I'm not doing do it, you and you guys know hands? that you're not. Do you want to smoke? I'll lick them. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. I mean, my hands smell like yeah, soap. That's one of my boys right there. Which one? I don't know why I got real quiet. Like, <laughs> which one? Uh, Bryant. He's one of the. He works. He works as a custodian. Gotcha. Dude, but we were having some good conversations without you, man. We we're just, like oh. I said, shooting the shit and wonderful. You know, we were uh, wonderful. We were connecting. I feel like me and the as audience are connecting. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you were rocking like a penguin on their way over. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to hold on to something. What? <laughs> yeah. Yep, I was telling them, this kind of feels like a chore because it's so carbonated. Like, it fills you up almost. Yeah. That's why I... I mean, to be honest, so... what I, I didn't talk about that, actually. You should... So, yeah. so, so what I have done is that I have done a pre-workout and done one to two tablets of this. Okay. So, get, hit the people with some knowledge here. So, this is basically a non-stem, which means what? Which means no caffeine. No caffeine. No... Or, or nothing. No stimulant. So it's not going to speed you up your heart. It's not going to, it's not thermogenic. It's not going to make you sweat. It's just. Well, it, it kind of is. <sighs> Cause, cause, because, because like whenever I take this yeah. combined of this, good, goodbye. I mean, let's, yeah, let's pop a couple boys. Should I'm, be or no? Uh, I, I don't want to. All right. We, we won't do it then. We're going to chillax and we're going to drink some rain. And you guys but, know what I told you earlier. But, I'm feeling really good now, actually. So, I mean, that's between me and you. Grant has no idea what I said earlier, but I'm feeling good. And I'm that's gonna all find that out matters. Later. I'm going to find out later. He's going to find out later. That's fine. But then, but then for, so, 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 like, I take about, like, one, like a fourth or half of the actual servings because there's 240 in here. Okay. Like, look. I didn't tell them this. Look. Like, Yo, there's, here. There's no, already... give, me a, give me one of them. Also, my hands are still dirty from drill this weekend, and it's like aircraft grease. Like, look at this. Oh, gross. Aircraft grease is insane to get off. But all right, look at this. This is a you normal use that size stuff. Yeah, it's still impossible to get off. Really? Um, so that's a capsule, just like a normal pill, like you would take with anything. 
serving size is eight. Well, you take four at the beginning. What? And then four at the end. So Eight so, pills. So you take four before your workout, four after your workout, which is a little bit insane, I think. We're going to go two down the hatch, boys. We're going to go two down the hatch. We're doing two, I guess. All Greg, right. come on, buddy. Come on, suit up, bud. No, I'm good. I'm going to try this. That's all. Mm-hmm. Ah. Just gotta it's those careful. floaters. Just gotta be careful. It's those like floaters that sit on the top of your throat. It's like the pills that float, and I suck at swallowing those. Just have to be super careful. So, like for instance, yesterday I took two. The day before, I think I took one. I need to. Mm. I need to probably take like a rest day with this. Mm. 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 One or eight. Have I taken eight before? Mm. I've taken one before. I tried to say, all right, a little Pictionary here. Say, once I say this, we're gonna see if Grant gets it. Say what you just said earlier. One or eight. <laughs> After. <laughs> I don't get it. No, three? What's the, mm. what? A. <laughs> B four A A B A <laughs> Say what you said before when oh. you took one or two before you took two servings or one serving of eight or just one pill. I just took one pill. <sighs> no, I mean like it's two hundred and forty capsules. Like You're gonna I'm, be taking that when you're eighty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, heck of a deal. It's from a box, too, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, like, on the hatch. 30 bucks. There you go, boys. Oh, dude. I also saw, um... <laughs> um, have you ever done uh, CBD oil before? Prior to the prior to your box? No. Never? No. What do you think about it? I well, we actually, got a video coming up, right? I'm sure. I was actually going to make a video about it, yeah. So, so, tell me about that. I've... It's super interesting. Is it really? Because, like, that, even the same brand that you got, I listened to a podcast, The Fighter and the Kid, and, like, Brendan Schaub on it. Like, he promotes that specific brand, too. Oh, really? And he said it's awesome. Like, and he was a MMA so, fighter, and, like, he said it's amazing for your health. Like, I don't know a lot about CBD oil, but it, obviously it's a huge I know a thing little coming up. It. I know a little bit about it. I'm, I'd be really interested to know more about that. Well, it, it reduces a lot of inflammation, infl inflammation, which would be also, amazing for my shoulders. It also calms you down, which is really, really nice, right? I mean, so ideally you don't want to take that and a pre-workout like you wouldn't want to take that before the gym would you now here's the thing is that the one that I have yep. does not have any sort of stimulant or any sort of well I, I guess it's not a stimulant because it does not raise your heart rate but it actually lowers your heart rate with melatonin right so you want to take it uh, pro no, so no I don't I it's it's just straight up like hemp oil it's straight up hemp oil so there, ideally there's nothing really in so it. what I'm saying is no like you would want to take that like right before bed you can take it's the it, ideal time that um, it has melatonin in it because you want to take it the throughout melatonin, the day. The, bel the melatonin ones, yes, but mine does not have melatonin uh, okay. or it does not have any sort of other stimulant. So I can take it literally whenever. I just cannot take more than two servings. Or are they just like drops? Mm -hmm. you put on just your teeth drops. or uh, on your on your tongue? Yeah, underneath your tongue. Oh, underneath. Mm -hmm. Got my hatch, boys. Yep, yep, you do underneath your tongue. And typically it starts like I start feeling it about... I would say closer to like well, an hour after. Well, what does it feel like when you take it afterwards? Like, what are you feeling? Um, I, I typically feel like, like a lot of my soreness starts just going away a bit. Um, and, and which I actually like taking it at night because of like right before I go to bed, i you know, I, I feel like I'm starting to tire down all this other stuff. And then like... Once I wake up, like after that, man, it's just like I'm a whole new person. Really? Oh my gosh. It's but 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 then the thing again too, like, you know, you also want to restrict it. So like I don't take this consistently. I take it every so often. Now. Sure. So like I took it like the first night I did like a fourth of a serving. Second night I did like half of a serving, waited a couple days, then I took three fourths of a serving, but I haven't gone to a full serving yet. 
in, in itself yet. Sure. Which is one milliliter, which is not really that much, but I'm trying to like actually save it anyway. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So, but I have not done any CBD whenever it comes to melatonin. I do have that, but I do, but but I have not taken it. Okay. Shall we try it? The, the, the hemp oil? Either, yeah. No, she has not tried it. Okay. She has not tried it. But man, like, um, so for instance, my quads, like I had a, I had a dirty quad day, right? Filthy. I mean, just straight up. Like, I'm like, freaking gene tearing. I, I, seriously, I was like, dude, I can't move. I don't want to do anything. These feels like boulders, all this other stuff. I took, 100%. I took 75 or whatever, 0.75 milliliters of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next day, I was like, okay, I can move. It's still a little bit sore, but, but like it helped, it helped with the inflammation. 100%. So, absolutely. Yeah. Positively. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, I'm, boys. I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, my next, next one up, actually, hopefully after this one, will be a muscle box, gains box, and barbell box comparison. There you go. Um, and then, I don't know if you wanted to start on, on this one. Oh, yeah. I'm eating, adventure here. I'm eating pizza for 24 hours. Give me some of that, dog. Yeah, I'm eating pizza for 24 hours. Sort of See like how I here. feel. There you go. After that. So. Any uh, any brand or any company specific or just pizza? Straight up pizza, man. Straight up pizza, dog. We don't discriminate Straight on this up. channel. Oh, no. No. Any, any pizza is good pizza, if you ask me. Yeah. So, Let me ask you this. Thin crust or a little deep dish action? What do you like? I personally like thin. I like thin. A little bit of a crunch. There are times when I'm feeling I want that doughy goodness, too. I either want it. I either want my crust super doughy, and I'm talking like chewy, like jet pizza. I never had that, but uh, okay. if it's doughy, sure, or super thin and crisp. Yeah, I, either of the two, I'm crazy about. Honestly, I started like I started eating more thin crust from Shelby. Like Shelby actually kind of got me into that. Yeah, a lot more. So, well, um, Shelby, there you go. Huh. Yep, allergies. Give it to me. You will not. You won't sneeze. <sighs> you won't. It'll leave. Yep. It'll come back though, just randomly. Yeah, it will. Um, Mid set. So, but well, yeah. Well, back and biceps today, though, yeah. Back and biceps. We're gonna have to do. I want like, I want crazy volume. Okay, crazy volume. <laughs> Grant a hundred percent does not want that. <laughs> he wants to go heavy and he wants to go low rep. When I said it, he's like, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. We'll do the same exercise. I'll just bump that up to four that's... sets to twenty five, and that's all right. Oh, holy shit. I'm dude. I'm telling you, man. Crazy volume tonight. I want it. I want, feel, I want to feel fat in the back. You want to feel fat in the back. Fat okay. in the back. Well, here here we go. I want to feel fat on the top back. A little trap action? Uh, not traps. Actually, a little bit more on the wings, but... Um, a little wing action. Trying to fly away. Take flight tonight, boys. Yep. A little bit more of the wing action. So, okay. like, so, so like my recent back day... Yep. Oh, dude. I It was filth. Um, it was... Um, I did rack pulls... Um, underhand bent over row mm. went I did non-stop rowing non-stop rowing oh gross and uh, non-stop rowing ended with some trap action of course. I mean I mean like my lower back was trashed really straight up trashed and like I'm, I mean it, it felt amazing I, I felt great but sure. like I did not feel anything up here yeah at all and I'm like Numb. okay I kind of have to work on Numb that for to the touch oh I mean oh yeah up top yeah yeah Focus on the upper back. Yep. Yeah, upper that's back. what we'll do, man. Put a little bicep in there. Go some wide. Do do some wide stuff. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. It'll All be right, great, man. Well, folks, after uh, almost forty minutes of uh, shooting the shit, here we are. Sorry. No, dude, it's good, man. It's good. Um. All right, folks. Well, we're gonna go uh, get after it. We got a little back and bicep action today. Episode eleven in the freaking books. In the books, in the weirdest way. In the books, in the weirdest <laughs> way. I mean, we took a shit break. We talked about <laughs> life, and we're on an iPhone, and that's great. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting it out there. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, folks, and we'll check in next time. See ya.